Hey, good evening everyone, good afternoon. Welcome to Amsterdam once again. Beautiful Friday evening here. It's sunny, but we can say it's evening. It's 7.30 at the moment. And it's a good looking day, but it's too windy. And it's a bit cool, 15 Celsius. We are next to Harlemerstraat. This is Murat, by the way. Hey guys, how are you? We are gonna do a short walk into like 30 minutes. Let's start it with his uh, beautiful view. That's the starting point of Prinzengracht. And today it looks even more beautiful because of such a nice weather. Today's topic is about the new update in Harlemerstraat where we are next to that street let's carry on walking that side because we don't have much time and because I'm a bit tired and I will keep my energy for tomorrow Paolo, Pablo, Toilet Brush, Tommy San uh, Adrian, Wang Tong, Jinj Million. Hello. Hope you're having a great day and I wish you a great weekend, by the way. Despite the wind, it's a great day, great weather. Beautiful start to the weekend. Hopefully, weekend will be like this. Hopefully, no rain. No stronger wind. Yes, today's live stream was a maybe. It wasn't certain. When I shared two days ago with members, I said maybe because I wasn't sure that I will do another live stream tour on Friday. Weekend will be even more busy. People chilling in this nice weather, but don't misunderstood the weather. Actually, it's a cool weather. So if you are in a boat tour, for example, like one and a half hour, probably you will be getting cold. You need a jacket today. <laughs> Hello, UK, Northern, Bill McMahon. Hi. See some people on a boat cruise with their own boats. Let's get on walking because I wanna tell you some changes about Harlemerstraat. I think most of you know Harlemerstraat, but even if you don't know about the name, probably you can recognize the street if you ever visited Amsterdam before especially if you are a high tourist you would recognize the streets from one kilometer away oh look at that this is a flagship amsterdam boat cruise another one but unfortunately only you can see around from the windows top side is closed the roof is closed, it's uh, not really comfortable for sightseeing. Hello, Nigora from Uzbekistan Power Zone. Hello. Hey, Paul, the, the guy in the white boats. <laughs> Special hello to Ted, I think. All right, this is Harlemerstraat. And that side is Harlemer Dyke. Most of the tourists do not know that side of the street because there are, there are no coffee shops on that side. Coffee shops are on this side. <laughs> and for two years, because of pandemic measures, uh, cars, autos and scooters were not allowed to enter to this street, but not anymore. Because pandemic is almost a history in the Netherlands uh, 
I think there are no any measure left, probably. And they opened the street to autos again, scooters and cars. But for how long? That's the question. Even before they opened, 77, 77% of the uh, residents live around the street. They didn't want, they didn't want the street to be open to cars and scooters. But it's opened anyway. Uh, they decided to uh, find a solution until the next year. However, city council committee advised that it's dangerous uh, opening the street like this because it's a small street and there's a huge bicycle traffic on the streets. So car and scooter traffic will be dangerous. And probably in three or four weeks, they will close the street to scooters and cars again. Because especially in rush hour, if you walk around, if you walk around the street, you will notice that there's a big traffic here because of bicycles. Bicycle traffic is enough alone. But the good thing is Amsterdam municipality and the uh, Amsterdam municipality committee, they are listening to residents and they understand their concerning concerns and they do everything for the happiness of the residents, unlike my home country. In Turkey, it goes like this. Municipality do everything without asking anyone. <laughs> and most of the time, locals learn the changes, learn the changes after it's already done. Hi, Luciano. Jimmy Boys, thank you for thumbs up on this video. So this is not a car front, the city like Rotterdam. <clears throat> the municipality tried to try to make out of people uh, I mean their life harder for with expensive car parking prices, less car parking places, etc. because and the locals and also the municipality, they don't want any more car and vehicles and traffic in this city in Amsterdam. Personally, I support this idea, definitely. I, I want zero car on the city, on, only emergency cars and vehicles. Except emergency vehicles and public transportation vehicles, I don't want any any more vehicles in the city. <laughs> Hi, Bill McMitt. Yes, there are a lot of tourists. I, I saw a lot of tourists in the centrum. Uh, I mean, Amsterdam Central Station. Hello, family. Hello, Ansar Rajesh. Hello, India. The, this sideway is full with coffee shops, actually. I'll go to the other side. So before starting to this live stream, I just went into a fast food store and one woman with her child came into the store and she was trying to order something. She was trying to order something. And, but first she asked, uh, do, you want me to, do you want me to speak Dutch or English? What do you prefer to the staff? And staff said, 
uh, English is better. And then she started uh, talking Dutch. So I, I'm, I'm really sorry for Amsterdamers. I mean, the local Amsterdamers, uh, local Dutch. They, they are foreigners in their own country, in their own city. So in the city center, like Harlemerstraat and some other streets, all the restaurants and stuff, most of them, the, the staff, they are foreigners or they live here without speaking Dutch. I'm also not fluent in Dutch language. However, at, at least I'm doing my shopping in Dutch language and some other basic things. And I think if you are working in a restaurant and fast food store in Amsterdam or the Netherlands, I think you should have spo you should have spoken some their language, right? Oh, this is also allowed. <laughs> Just joking. But uh, I said it's open to scooters and cars, but I think we didn't see any of them. <laughs> Before this live stream, I saw many. I saw many scooters. No cars at this time. I think they, I think they still think that it's, it's not allowed. Because last year I was thinking in a bar on the previous corner and I, I saw a lot of people got fined because of their scooter drive through the street. <clears throat> it's not rush time any longer, but between 5 and 7 o'clock it's really busy this street by bicycles. But three weeks later, or four weeks later, municipality will close the street to vehicles again, forever, hopefully. <clears throat> Here one. That one scooter, Uber Eats. If he was doing that in the last month, he will get fined. <laughs> Hello, Demirji. So we are at the beginning of Harlem Street. Now we are at the end of that. I started from half of street, street half point. Uh, you know, we started from the beginning of. I mean, end of Harlem Street and beginning of Harlem Dyke is two parts, but I will continue to walk somewhere else. We have like 15 minutes more, and I'm gonna show you some city vibes around the city a little bit more. You can see some Friday evening ambience. Man on the grey signal, that's so nice, hopefully you can get back soon here. I wish you the best. That's right, round uh, Prat, yes, 77 of the residents, they don't want vehicles and scooters on the streets. You know, maybe it's difficult in other cities in Europe. I mean, <laughs> making the bicycle the main, main commuting, main transportation vehicle, let's say. But in Amsterdam, oops, sorry. You see, we were almost getting it. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's pity. He couldn't hit me, so we lost the chance for a while. Of Anyway, you see, <laughs> it's already dangerous with bicycles. We don't need car or any other vehicles. The thing is, Amsterdam is flat. The Netherlands is flat, so it's pretty convenient using bicycle here. And urban planning is pretty good so far. Talking about Amsterdam Centrum especially, you don't need to have a car unless there is an emergency because everything is so close by. If, if you have visited Amsterdam before, you know that by just walking, you can arrive to Leipzig Plain or Rembrandt Plain from Central Station only in 15 minutes, 20 minutes, it's nothing. And for locals, it's the same and with bicycles they can go further areas like for example with my bicycle I can ride a circle all around the city in just one hour maybe maybe earlier than That's true. Many many people here they don't they don't ride bicycles with gears. Many of the bicycles do not have gear here. If they have, it's only three or six gears. <laughs> and nowadays e-bikes are more popular and even more easier than normal bikes so if you have a, an electric bike you don't have to worry about the distance in Amsterdam, traveling in Amsterdam. Even you can go to other cities, from Amsterdam to Harlem with your e-bike. You can arrive, I believe, like in 30 minutes lately. Train is, has the same distance. By train you can go there in 20 or 30 minutes. That's right, Demirji. Simplicity is the best. less accessories, less uh, things on your bicycle or anything. Always it's easier and less uh, problem possibility. But I think this is not a bike park area, by the way. Hi! Hey! How are you? Good. <laughs> Where are you going? Lekker. Lekker. How is it? Good, man. Where are you? You are the volger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Zeker. Yeah, Amsterdam, come here, here. Chill, lekker, kijk, all the stuff. Thank you. Now, I go to Damrak and Zedai. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Did you see the friendly guy? He was watching us. He just came here to say hello it's so friendly and nice 
Amsterdam municipality is working cleaning services day and night. I think Amsterdam is a, has a bike mayor, by the way. And it's, a, it's a chosen by what? Just like a politician or municipality mayor, there is a bike mayor chosen by the world of the, pe world of the people. <laughs> <laughs> they do a tough job. <clears throat> they are trying to open the way. A tourist ocean is here. <laughs> so, uh, popular shopping street and also tourist area. Hey, Trevor Random. Well, we, we passed through Febo. No Febo today, sorry. In distance, you can see Dumbrak. Oh, look at those garbage. That's why, that's why clinic services are working hard tonight, today. Amsterdam garbage view. This guy is Turkish. He is uh, showing flyer kebab kebab restaurant flyers. Coffee coffee might be good actually. Or in beer chamber? <coughs> Sorry. Maybe beer tea is better. <coughs> Sorry. Unfortunately, there is no good coffee place uh, close by, as far as I can see. So, let's go and take a beer at Zedak, probably. But uh, I'll just <clears throat> walk towards 
zebra lines. It's crowded today. If you miss tramway sounds, here it is. <laughs> like like McDonald's index, uh, there is a mannequin piece index, I think, in my opinion. I think. Uh, I calculated the tourist uh, crowd at Damrak by, by looking at the mannequin piece queue. Today it's not really long, so there are not enough tourists in the city. The queue is ending here. Sometimes it goes there, the line, end of the line, I mean. <clears throat> Mana campus ambience. I think it's a good time to start drinking beaches. So my target is there, like my favorite beach place, beach street. As usual, many tourists here for taking pictures with dancing houses. Beer o'clock, that's right. <laughs> Coffee till 8 o'clock, beer after 8 o'clock. We can see the old church tower from here. And the famous mom building is over there. It reminds me of my mother. Mom. But of course, still, still busy comparing to previous months. For example, canal cruises are still open. It's by the side of block. Another one is getting ready for departure. If you if you take away some sandwiches or drinks, this is the place where you can eat drink with this view. But uh, sometimes will be overcrowded. I 
I hear some Turkish voices run 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 <laughs> I'm leaving the area Another one is open, Canal Cruise and with some tulips fake tulips and Amsterdam shoes and actually Dutch uh, wooden shoes this one looks like plastic, but I'm sure it's wooden. This, this guy carry his vehicle with him. This is a McDonald's table. It's here. Usually there are a lot of garbage at this point of Damrak because there is a McDonald's over there. At the other side of the street, there is a McDonald's open almost 24 hours. It's open until 4 o'clock in the morning. So many people, especially in pandemic period, they were getting their takeaway menus and they were eating here and then they were splitting all around their garbage. Another good observation desk and also eating point. Less people usually, but sometimes there are junkies and drunk people that you can see, which you will not find it comfortable. Right. Look at the sky. Free, free terrace. Another Instagram phenomenon. Oh, another boat is arriving. Captain's professional. Yes, look at that. The sky is gorgeous today. Yeah. And the wind is better. Like two hours ago, there was a crazy wind. Now it's more calmer. No. 
Hello, Dennis. Thank you for coming. Okay, I'm getting thirsty. I'll try to find my beach. And soon, that means soon, I'm gonna close this live stream. Probably some of you know where I am going now. What I am going to do. Good evening, cracks and rolls. Monkey bar. Yes, monkey bar or the other one, opposite. Whichever is empty. But it looks crowded. So I will go inside. Before that, I'm going to finish the stream here. So see you tomorrow, guys somewhere else thanks so much for watching don't forget to hit the like button and check the video description if you wish to see some links have a great weekend see you tomorrow at similar times uh, earlier actually Wow, in the last minute, we have a super chat. My Birch supporter, Paul, thanks so much. Cheers, Demirji, Amsterdam beer, wow. I'll get one small Birch here, probably Amstel, and then a Geneva, hopefully. See you all, bye-bye.